Hello, I'm Farid and welcome to online fitness training. Um, I plan another, another class for form. So we have to make sure everything is in form when you do workout. Um, I'll keep it the movement as we add it on our videos. So I'll start from the floor. Different um, variation of, of um, press ups. Um, one of the hardest body weight workouts. I try to make it as easy as possible. So you're sitting down on your toes, on your knees. Again, guys, if you have a wrist issue, you can put your hands 45 degrees finger out. If not, then your fingers face facing front wall. The easy version of your press up, you just drive your chest down and come up. So what we don't want here to drop your head. So we keep our shoulders as activated as possible. Going down and up. This form it stays the same, even if you if you go to an advanced move, like an advanced press ups. I can tell you guys, most of people they do press up, <coughs> they go down when they come up, they wave their self leg, they go down in a straight line and they try to do this. We don't want to do wrong form. We do correct form. Don't go out on your toes unless you're 100% sure you can do it. Try, if you can't, then stay on your toes. Um, so let's see if you practice this and you can do let's say 10, still there's no need to straighten your legs, you just lean a bit forward. It looks easy but really, really hard. Lean forward. The other thing most people, they do a mistake on their press-ups when they open their wings or open their hands or elbows this way. <coughs> I don't understand this doesn't count as a push down or push up. I think better to keep your elbows close to your lats and do it. If you're really, really strong and really, really active, you can do wide press ups. Again, you can do on your knees or you can do off. No waving guys, all the body weight going down and all coming up at the same time. So let's see, do a couple of different mountain climbers. Stay on your toes, hands are exactly under your shoulders. Again, I don't, we don't want this. Your back travels to the ceiling. You suck in everything from your chest, from your core to the ceiling. Then bring your right or your left knee under your chest and take it back. The challenge is to keep yourself straight, not swing sideways. Let's see if I can't do on my toes, I stay on my knees and toes and bring you one knee. Guys, we learn everything really slow. There's no need to, to push yourself too, too fast and I don't want you to forget about the form. So this is a mountain climbers and this is a mountain climbers.
Mountain climber means to bring your knees to your chest. Down, kick, back. Still guys, any question, just text me and I'll, I'll be back to you guys. Now go down on your plank. Looks very simple, easy, but most people, they do mistakes. This is a real holding low plank. This is a broken one which doesn't work. And this is the failure. Your lower back and your bum stays slightly higher than your shoulders. And your heels stays on top of your toes. If you're really beginner, you can stay on your knees and toes. Then challenge yourself with one leg straight and the other one. Once you learn your plank, low plank or high plank, then you can add another move. People, they do side plank, people, they do high plank into low plank. Before we go to high plank to low plank, if you just practice this, again, if you're really, really beginners, you just stay on your toes and on your knees. So you can reach forward or you can reach on the side. If you're new in this move, you will, you will twist or swing your back too much, but keep eyes. Um, we don't swing too much. Now low plank and to twist. Very easy. If you want to make it harder. The best thing on this form is not to open, not to leave the floor. So we don't want this. We keep everything straight and just dropping sideways. I hope you learn the plank, you learn the press ups. If you go on a side plank, Um, really challenging for beginners. If you're really, really new for this pose, just stay on your knees. As your knees are going on one straight line, it gives you more challenge. If it's easy, just a straight the top leg and touch it. <coughs> Both sides the same, guys. On your knees, on the side of your, your, your foot. Then, how to go from front low plank to side. Keep eyes on my feet. This is the easy version. And this is a bit challenging. So going from, from front Low plank into side plank. And always on my video we do low plank to high plank. A press up position or a push up position. We go down, down, up. Not an easy workout. It needs a lot of core power and strengthen. If you start from low plank, hold it 10 seconds, add a couple of seconds, then a couple of seconds hold on the side. Then you can do high plank into side plank. Another move which I really, really like it on a low plank is just swing forward and backwards. One of the best workouts for your lower back and your shoulders. As far as you go forward,
Again, I don't want this. You keep everything to the ceiling and swing yourself back and forth. I think we do two more moves. Then we're done for this video. High plank. Swing. Again, guys, if you have some issue on your on your on your wrist, you can have 45 degrees out. So I hope you enjoyed this. And see you at the next session.